Photoshop's Frame Tool allows you to easily place and clip images to rectangles, circles, or any custom shape. I'll tap the K key or choose the Frame Tool from the toolbar. With the image selected in the Layers panel, I'll click and drag out the frame. On the Layers panel, a new frame icon appears, and the photo's been converted to a smart object, making it easy to replace the contents at any time. While I can use the Layers panel to select the image or the frame, or Shift-click to select them both, I can also select them on screen. I'll double-click in order to toggle selecting the image, which I can then reposition, double-click again to select both the image as well as the frame, or click on the edge of the frame in order to resize the frame itself. Moving to the next artboard, I want to add an image in a circular frame. I'll select the option, click and drag, holding down the Shift key in order to constrain it to a circle. I can choose File, Place Embedded, drag and drop an image using the operating system, or from another application such as Lightroom. Photoshop places it as a smart object. I'll use Command T on Mac or Control T on Windows in order to transform it and reposition it within the frame, tapping Enter to commit to that transformation. If I select the frame, I can use the Properties panel if I wanted to add a stroke. On the third artboard, I have a shape layer that I want to convert to a frame, but this could also be a path or a type layer. I'll choose Layer, New, and then Convert to Frame. This time, I'll drag and drop an image into the frame from the Libraries panel. If you ever need to remove a layer, right-click on the Layer in the Layers panel and choose Remove Frame from Layer. So there you go. While you can accomplish similar effects using clipping groups and masks, the Frame Tool is a fast and easy way to clip an image within a shape.